Hey y'all, I thought we'd make one more Halloween treat together before it starts, huh? <laughs> and this one is real simple and easy, but it's so good and it's really not too bad for you actually, okay? Yeah, no, yeah, okay. Anyway, it has popcorn in it, of course. It has Cairo syrup. It has gelatin, orange gelatin, butter, sugar, and cereal. Yeah, and then I like to add some salted cocktail peanuts um, for a little balance there. And that's an option. If you're allergic to peanuts, no big deal. Okay, guys, and last year... For Halloween, I shared um, caramel popcorn recipe with y'all that I've been making since I was like a young teenager. My Aunt Trudy shared it with me. And so <laughs> when I was doing the video, the popcorn was popping in this air popper behind me. And literally, I had no idea. I was just a talking and telling y'all what I was going to do. Well, then when I went to edit the video later that night, I saw that the popcorn was hitting the container I was popping it in and just exploding out. <laughs> so if you go back and see that video, just know when I finally leave y'all and I turn and walk to go to the popcorn, I look down and I see there's popcorn all over the floor too. <laughs> But I had enough to do the caramel popcorn. It just was popping out. But my puppy dogs took care of that. But what I wanted to tell y'all is I love to use a little air popper if I'm going to make caramel popcorn or this um, tricks or treat popcorn. Anything, anything that you're going to make something out of that popcorn, that way you don't have any more grease in it or any butter or oil or anything because it strictly pops it by air, right? I know. So it's wonderful. And I, I like to use this if I'm trying to watch my way because I love some popcorn late at night. I know. I'm terrible. And I like to use this, but sometimes I'm like, no, it's Friday night. I'm going to pop me some butter popcorn. Corn. But anyway, you can butter it too right here. This air fry this air fryer, this air popper I got at Walmart for $9.99. And Stephanie, one of my friends, last year when I posted the caramel popcorn, she ran to Walmart to get one of them and they didn't have any more. <laughs> she was like, Oh, y'all been watching Amy's recipe and now they're all gone. But you can order these off of Amazon too for uh well, they were $9.99. I don't know what they are since it seems like the pandemic hit. Everything's gone up, right? So this time I'm going to babysit my popcorn while it pops <laughs> is what I was getting at. Um, I'm, you just turn it on. And I need six cups of popped popcorn, okay? So I usually just do about a quarter cup at a time till I get to my six cups. So like I say, this time I'm going to watch this little thing. And it just heats up and that heat makes your corn pop right here. And then I'm going to come back on here with y'all and we're going to finish this little treat. <laughs> Alright, baby. I'll see you in a little bit. Sounds great, baby. Does it sound great? Mm -hmm. This is why you need to go up to high. Yes, it does. I saw. But yeah, that's some money. Not a bill, that's some money. Okay, y'all, it's come to a rolling boil, so I'm turning it down on medium-low. And I'm going to stir it frequently now, not continuously. Just to make sure everything's okay for about three to five minutes. We'll try to go closer to five minutes, won't we? Let me set my alarm on my phone because y'all know I will forget. I might start telling a long, drawn-out story, right? <laughs> exactly there we go that's three minutes y'all this halloween we're going to go to our oldest son's home he lives in a neighborhood y'all know us out here in the middle of nowhere we get nobody out here <laughs> and so uh we're all dressing up gonna have a good time my daughters-in-law were at my home for a sunday supper one day last month, one Sunday evening last month, and uh, they said, let's dress up like the Hocus Pocus witches. So, of course, I'm the not-so-young Hocus Pocus witch, but that's Bette Midler. So, yes, I'll be her any day, all day long. And then they're going to be the other two witches, so we're going to have a good time with that. And our youngest son, John Tyler... It's, I'm turning this down a little bit more. It's awfully bubbly. Our youngest son, John Tyler, is uh, 
He's going to be the kitty cat off of Hocus Pocus, the young boy that gets turned into the black cat. That's what he's going to be for us. And we couldn't find him a solid, furry black cat outfit, so we're going to paint his face. And he's got the cat ears and the tail. And then, let's see, Addie, she's Belle from Beauty and the Beast. And... Blake, our oldest son, he is going to be Forrest uh, Bondurant from um, Lawless. If y'all have not ever seen that movie, it's a really good movie. It's about moonshining. And it's also based on a true story or a true family. So it's, it's a good little movie. It's older, but it's good. It's not brand new out. But anyway, he's going to be Forrest Bondurant. And so we've got him the hat and the, the shirt, the banded collar shirt and a vest and a cardigan sweater. He's going to he's gonna dress like that. He's going to look good like that. And then, yeah, I said Addie's Beauty and the Beast Belle. She's got a beautiful dress that her daddy ordered her. And then little, little granddaughter Ashley wants to dress up. I mean, they let her pick out her little outfit, and she's not even a year yet. She'll be a year in November, but she reached out and grabbed a pink dinosaur little outfit, so <laughs> that's what she touched. That's what she's going to be, is a little pink dinosaur, which is, is perfect because Tyler, her daddy, all he ever was was a dinosaur when he was little. He loved dinosaurs, still does, so... Um, he was teeny tiny and could name every kind of dinosaur and what period they were from. I mean, he was really into it. So, um, that's perfect. And the grand boys, you know, they're 12 now, so they're kind of like, eh. One of them said he wants to be from anime. Oh, my goodness. I can't remember the character, but he got me to order that. And uh, one of them said no. Bryson said no. He's not dressing up. But he's going to want some candy now, isn't he? But he knows that I'm going to bring lots of candy to their house. So so he's not too terribly worried about that. Okay, guys. Preheat your oven to 300 degrees, okay? I've got that on really low because it's been three minutes. And it kind of gets a lot thicker for you and almost candy like almost candy like okay and i use a big pan a disposable pan like this um you don't have to if you've got a big roasting pan or if you've got a big baking sheet that's fine too and you can put parchment paper i just put this non-stick cooking spray and i let it bump okay into this we need six cups of our popped corn so here we go one, that was an awfully big cup, wasn't it? Two, I got to do better. Three, four, five, and six. I know y'all see I've always got enough for a double or a triple or a quadruple batch, don't I? I know it. I only know how to cook big. One of my grandmothers did that too, so I go by, I get it honestly. And two cups of this Trix cereal mix. And you can use any cereal mix you want to. Just the name of it is Trix or Treat. So I've got Trix. But I also got the Trolls World Tour. Because it's got these little marshmallows in there. And it looks real festive. So I've seen Booberry. You can use any kind of cereal you want to. There we go. Our two cups. Can y'all see that? How colorful that is? That's going to look good, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, we got six cups of popcorn, two cups of our cereal. And then this little option that I add, because I love that little salty contrastual bite. Y'all know what I'm talking about? I'm going to do a half a cup of these salted cocktail peanuts, okay? Just a half a cup of those. If you, if you imagine all these flavors, you can tell this is really going to be tasty, isn't it? I know. It's a little different than just our caramel popcorn, right? Okay, guys. Let me get me a spatula. Same thing with my spatula. I'm going to spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. Just like that. That way it won't hold on to all our candy. You see our... Our orange candy down in there, it looks so good, doesn't it? Just going to pour it around. It's 
it's already trying to get hardened in there yes it is there's a little bit more on the side there we go and now we're gonna toss toss it toss it toss it till everything gets coated and then once i've got it pretty well coated and don't get disheartened and you say mine's not coating because it is it's trying to cool off we're going to put it in the oven on 300 for 15 minutes and that's 300 fahrenheit and halfway between that 15 minutes here in about seven minutes or so i'll get out just long enough to stir it and coat it again okay and then that second time i get it out when the 15 minutes is up I'll stir it again to coat it. So it's going to get on there, okay guys? I smell that orange. It smells so good and it's bright. It's made the smell of that cereal come out. It smells so good. This is going to be fun and I'm definitely going to make a double batch of this. There is no way. My family will roll through this in about two bites. <laughs> okay, y'all. All right, Candy get your little self i didn't spray the top of my spatula and you can tell it y'all see the bottom though it's just clean clean because of that non-stick cooking spray all right 15 minutes and i will see y'all back then as y'all can see i doubled my batch here <laughs> Ah, y'all knew I would. I didn't even surprise you, did I? No, you, no, I didn't. I did Use any cereal you want to, guys, because the name of it is Tricks or Treats. So I use Tricks cereal, but seriously, nobody cares what the name is. We just care if it tastes good, right? So any kind of cereal you want to. I saw Boo Berry in town, too. And it was black and orange. It was pretty. Y'all see how halfway through when I'm stirring it, it kind of coats all the popcorn like that yeah okay i see a bunch of candy there you get on top and melt down buddy okay guys just about seven and a half more minutes and we'll let it cool and pack it up okay y'all last time out of the oven nice and cool it was 15 minutes all together because i doubled it i went on and did another 15 minutes and i just put it right on top of the oven <laughs> I know, I can slaughter a recipe, but this one's forgiven. It doesn't care. And I stir it one last time, make sure I get everything on the bottom, back on the top. And that non-stick cooking spray helps it not stick, not even the candy, okay? Now I'm going to let it completely cool, and we'll pack it up. It cooled off in just a few minutes. You hear it? Nice and cooled off. And let's taste it. We definitely need to taste it, don't we? We sure do. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> mm. I'm looking for a peanut, guys. Mmm. That is so very good. When you first put it in your mouth, it almost reminds you of caramel popcorn. And then all of a sudden, the orange and the fruit flavor, there's a peanut, just comes alive. And, and it's very bright and very good. Mmm. -hmm. I know I love the peanuts in there because it makes it not overly sweet. But even without the peanuts, it's not overly sweet. You're going to like it. And I found these. I was going to show you all how I serve it. Sometimes I'll just put it in a big canister. Or if I want to give out individual little baggies, I go to the Dollar Tree every year or the dollar stores or even in Walmart anywhere. And I look and see what their little um, treat bags look like. And this one says trick or treat on it, which I think is cute because the name of our treat is tricks or treat. So anyway, I thought those would be real cute. And seriously, this is a bag of 20 for $1. So that's why I get those. I also saw these with the candy corn on them. Can y'all see that? These are really cute. Really cute. Um, so anyway... I will literally, I'll get a handful of them because then I'll have them for years to come. So that's what I do. And they always come with some little twist ties in there too, as y'all can see. So all I've got to do is load this up. 
and put a twist tie on it. It's going to be a sweet little treat. It's all in these little bags. I love they're all the colors of our our tricks mix. Let me get me a spoon. I think this spoon would be real good that I measured with. I just washed it. Let me dry it off so we won't get water on our crunchy popcorn. This is really good. A little bit of a change just from that caramel popcorn. Let's see here. Now, that's much quicker than me picking up. Yes, it is. There you go. How sweet is that? So cute. I love it. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to get off here and finish packing all these up. And we, I'm going to wish all you a happy and healthy and safe Halloween. <laughs> this is just the time of the year that we like to, as a family, dress up and be silly. That's all we're going to do is all get together and we put each other's makeup on and we just dress up. It's just a fun time of the year is all it is. That's all it's about, right? Exactly. All right, guys. See y'all later. I'm getting some pictures of this food, guys. This is what I do. <laughs> hey, darling. Hey, baby. What you up to? Uh, I've been sitting on the couch up there, and I got up and got me a cup of coffee, went and put chickens up, and I said, you know, I bet she's got something to snack on down there. <laughs> Let me go down there and see. He knows, doesn't he? I tell you, you really do know. Of course, you yeah. know I'm down in here in the kitchen cooking. Yeah. Don't you? yeah. As a matter of fact, this is for the picture. Okay. Uh, isn't that okay. pretty? Isn't that going to be a pretty that is picture? cute. It's cute. But I did save you oh, a snack bag. I knew it. I knew it. I knew <laughs> Come here. Me a snack. This is called Tricks or Treats. Tricks or Treats. Now, there's nothing about it. It's Tricks, T R I X, like okay. Tricks cereal. Here, right, buddy. And um, taste it. It's got orange jello gelatin in it, and of mm. course, then the caramel, like my regular caramel popcorn. And then it's got the trick cereal, and it's got some salted peanuts in it. Tell everybody what you think. <laughs> that's not what I expected that to taste like. I know, that I know. Good. It when you good. first taste it, it's like caramel popcorn, and yeah. then all of a sudden you taste the fruity cereal, right. and you're like, "Wait a minute!" Yeah, the orange. It's like mm -hmm. it literally does mess with your mind. It except, does, except that it's good, isn't it? It is. Well, when it must first, be. He keeps eating it. When I first tasted it, I was like, "Oh, it's going to be like Apple Jacks here," or uh, not Apple Jack, but uh, caramel popcorn. Basically. Yeah, my yeah. caramel. Yeah, the yeah. kind I normally make. Right. Yeah, but yeah, it's got the orange and that fruity flavor, and that's good. And the peanuts. Did you get your peanut? There's your peanut. Oh, <laughs> I put half a cup of peanuts, and I think if I had it to do over again, I'd probably put like a whole cup of peanuts. Yeah, but we really like peanuts, huh? Mm -hmm. Some people are allergic. I'm very thankful I'm not allergic to peanuts. Yes. So you put up the chickens for me, yep. baby? Yep. Thank you, darling. Well, they put themselves up, don't they? We just right. got to lock them up, just right? Lock them. <laughs> Get the out. One time when... John Tyler first started taking care of the chickens. We went out of town and said, go close up the chickens. Well, he went down there before dark, and he called me after he was winded. Mama, how do you get these things up? I've been chasing them around. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I said, oh, Tyler, no, 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 baby. I said, go home and go back in the house and let it get just dark, and then you go back, or just right at dark. And he said, okay. Well, then he called me back. He's like, that's so much easier because <laughs> they just put themselves up but yeah he was trying to get them to roost earlier and they're like ah 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 I don't think so <laughs> it's hard to catch a chicken too Ooh, chicken's fast now he don't look it but he's fast <laughs> we've got a skunk coming down in there at night and John says he's crippled so I feel bad for him so now I'm feeding some kitty cat food on the outside of the chicken <laughs> I'm pathetic right I'm it's not even going there as long as he's not messing with the chickens there and we go. got those locked up, he, he'll be okay. Especially he's crippled. He, he, he's not going to be much longer for this world. I'm going to go change. You're going to go change? Yeah, John, you're going to take me out to eat, aren't you, I baby? <laughs> okay, darling. Right. Bye.
Love, Love you, baby. Okay, guys, I'm gonna get off the hair. Aren't these the cutest little things? I know, I know. And um, we'll make something else. No worries, guys. The popcorn was not wasted. <laughs> the leftover. The girl said, we will eat it. Yes, we will, Mama. <laughs> Is that good, girls? <laughs>